Kath is in Berkshire. Kath, good evening. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Daniel. Um, thank you for taking my call. I listen every week, so I'm going to get straight to the question and not test your good mood at all. Um, I just wondered if I had any um, chance of claiming consequential losses from an online company that had sent the wrong item two times. Uh, just give me a little more information about it, Kath. Um, so I had a workman starting on Monday building a media wall and he needed um, uh, the fireplace to start off with. So I had ordered it. It had come the week before. I'd left it in the box for him to open. He opened it and said they sent the wrong fireplace. I rang them. They admitted it was their mistake. Um, sent another fireplace. So he couldn't start work, basically. They sent another fireplace which didn't arrive when they'd said it would. It arrived a day later. So, again, he came over and couldn't start the, the job. Um, fireplace came on Friday. I rang him as soon as it had come. He came, opened the box. They'd sent exactly the same fireplace again. OK. Uh, has that cost you any money? Um, <laughs> and it was so, yes, but I don't know how much. Well, Because he's, he's had to come... He said we'll sort it all out at the, at end. the end. Fine, then I would wait till the end. Have you got the right fireplace now? No. <laughs> right. So I'm, I'm gonna. I, I've had to order from somewhere else um, because it, it just became too complicated. Right. So, um, the, uh, have you paid any more for the second fireplace? No, the and I've life? currently got both fireplaces because they didn't pick the other one up either. Right. So, what you need to do is write to the original supplier and put them on notice that they've failed twice. Yeah, I assume you've rejected the second fireplace now. The second wrong fireplace. Uh, well, I, I didn't realise it was the wrong one again until he came. Yes, but have, he... you now, have you now rejected it? Now you know it's the oh, wrong yes, one again. Oh, yes, yes, they are aware. Good. Yes. And they have actually, they've refunded me, but I've both still, both got, uh, still got both fireplaces. OK, so what you need to do is write to them or email them and just put them on notice that uh, you've inc you are likely to incur additional costs for the fitter. Uh, and mm -hmm. that you'll be looking to recover those costs from them. Now, if it's a big organisation, their terms and conditions will almost certainly say they're not liable for consequential loss. And if that's the case, I suspect a judge would uphold that clause because in most circumstances, that sort of clause is reasonable. Uh, if their mm -hmm. terms and conditions don't say that, Kath, then you will be able to sue them for the extra couple of hundred quid that you'll have to pay the fitter for the extra time that he or she has spent. Uh, and um, just quickly, Daniel, the, the fireplace that I had to order so that it came for next day delivery, so it was delivered today, was more expensive because my choices were quite limited. OK, well, um, you could, as long as you're not going for betterment, as long as you're not deliberately choosing something else, and that's the closest um, that you could get, then you can recover the extra cost as well from the original supplier. So, so to try and do that through the small claims court? 100%. But wait till you know what all your costs are. You've got six years to do it. Oh, amazing. Okay. Daniel, you're the best. I love you. Thank you, Kath.